Puff Daddy, P Daddy, mm. you, you're kind of having his back. For me, I'm the opposite, well, if I'm honest. I wouldn't say like completely got his back. I put out a post yesterday because it's been like, it's been on the back of my mind for uh, a while now, actually. And I just, I wanted to just put out because you you put a post up and it was that that kind of really sort of triggered it for me that you know you put this post of him talking to this young girl who that girl is friends with his youngest son so it's not him freaking you know yes he's he's not got a he's look he's called he calls himself a bad boy bad boy records this guy has never called himself squeaky clean he can have sex with who he wants. That I don't think anyone should like worry about. The fact is we should worry about if he's actually like hurting somebody. If he wants to sleep with men, women, whatever, like doesn't affect us. If he wants to do drugs, doesn't affect us. Um, but, you know, to put out a video saying he's sex trafficking, like that is obscene. You know, anyone that has been to parties at his houses there's no freaking sex trafficking. It's a party. It's a party. He has an alcohol brand. He knows how to have fun. But the FBI just went to the house. The housekeepers, there were two kids. Like, it's not some crazy tunnel for your QAnon friends. I'm sorry. But they're saying he could potentially be the next Epstein. They figured yeah, that video with a young girl. Epstein. And I did say it was yeah. his daughter's friend. But as a father myself... It's the characteristics. It's the making the girl feel uncomfortable. As a man, mm. I would never sit with a 12 year And I know. And I'd think... That's creepy for me as a man. Who's right. A, a, well, like, the thing the thing is as well. And he looked so, intoxicated. It doesn't mean he's a fucking yeah, traffic or a pedophile, no. but it's creepy. I mean, the thing is, you know, he is a good dad. And that's what I wanted to put out there. Like, he always had his mother on the holidays. Kim, pa Kim Porter, who has like, what, four children with four. him? Um even when he was dating Cassie, Kim was always there on the holiday. You know, that was going to cause friction. Like... Cassie always knew he's in love with Kim. Like, she never had any kids with him. She didn't have anything that would tie her down with him. Kim was the love of his life. And, you know, when she died, he also lost Andre Harrell, who was um, also a very good friend of mine. He was the guy that uh, basically discovered, discovered Puff Daddy, uh, Sean Coombs. And he had a pretty rough time. I think they both died within about six months of each other. Um, in 2020, I think it was. Right, or maybe did she die in 2019 and then him 2020? But, um, yeah. Look, he can party and take ecstasy. Like that's not going to affect us. Um, I don't think he is a bad, meaning person. Like he can get high or whatever. But that video. I think it was just a bit taken out of context, you know, because he does. The thing is, you or I wouldn't be having a wild house party with 11-year-olds in our that's house weird. out of our minds, right? Mm. But he would, and that's just, but like, that's, weird. that's the way that he yeah, does it. Yeah, but that doesn't make it acceptable. Yeah. That's still fucking right, weird. If, right. you, like, if you got any kids, do you have any no, kids? No, I don't. But if you did, would you have them doing that at a party? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Because you haven't got yeah. in, it's hard to answer yeah. as a father. It's fucking weird. If I see yeah. someone doing that to my daughter, he's getting a bullet in the head. And yeah, that's yeah. not to be tough because yeah. I'm a protector. Yeah. I'm not going to have How kids. How old is your daughter? 13. Oh, so gosh. I'm a father. So it's, my job is to provide and protect. Yeah. And I'll do that. I was sitting in a cell doing life, not a fucking problem. No yeah. blinky and I, if I knew I was protecting the family. Yeah. For me, it was just, it's not, that's not what a man does. Mm -hmm. And we can say he drinks and yeah. parties. Doesn't yeah. make it acceptable. Yeah. And the, obviously you've got... That's the, just that lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, it's we don't have... It's fucking weird have, to start. Yeah. Hollywood yeah. madness. Like, Hollywood is, is a crazy Big place. But the Big Ape, people are saying that he could have been involved. He, he mm. does seem he wants to be king of the castle, and he was mm. for a very long time. Yeah. Paying Cassie, what I think people say, up to $30 million. She says mm. she was raped to traffic. Again, it could be bullshit mm. just for money. Mm. Having Usher at his house at 13, having the young girls, now it's come out. Again, it could all be a setup. Again, I, I genuinely don't know mm. for for his brands that he has because there's a billionaire. He's loaded, so yeah. I just, it just I, doesn't I, I'm, look try, good. I'm trying to like figure out who are the people who are benefiting from this takedown. I think that's always the way to look at it. Like, who are they? You know, um, is it the alcohol brand that wanted to cut a relationship with him because he was getting paid too much you know like like i said before 
Same thing that happened to John Galliano, totally set up. Um, Because he was asking too much money, they're paying him too much. Okay, let's just get rid of him. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, the the hip hop world um, in the US, you've got the Crips and the Bloods, and they hate each other. They kill each other every day. And so, obviously, the rappers on the other side, you've got 50 Cent and stuff, and they fucking, they're, they're rejoicing right now. I know you he got 50 that. Cent suits. So <laughs> they're like partying, <laughs> like fireworks. <yay. laughs> because, you know, 50 Cent, um, I love 50 Cent. I think he's awesome. But I think he he had a hard time at some point and I think blew all his money and stuff. And then they're probably looking at Diddy like, fuck this guy, like he's living this, you know. But... um. Yeah, I met 50 Cent. I'm trying to think. Oh, Cannes Film Fest for a couple of years ago. That was it. Very smiley. Lots of very smiley guy. Mm-hmm. But his, his yeah. son's mum, yeah. apparently she was working with Puff oh, Daddy. Right. Right. And that's where it comes from because she's on the indictment. He was, she was like a sex worker for right. him. And that's Puffy's son's mum. Right. And again, I don't know all the ins and outs. It is a bit no. petty, a lot of the stuff. Right. But we get caught up in it because it is big news. Right. And like you say, it could be a massive takedown. Maybe mm. he is just a fucking party boy, but yeah. it doesn't look good for him no. from the outside. Then you've got Jay-Z. He's getting yeah. his own island. He met Beyonce when she was young. He met yeah. signed Rihanna when oh, she's right. young. Well, and there's he, he, more rumours I mean, of that. People can start and they two are best friends. Why is he not coming out well, and supporting these well, best people friends? People can start saying that Jay-Z's a groomer, he grooms his artists and then marries them. Like, it, it, it's all, you know, the entertainment world is a really seedy world. It is. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially Hollywood, you know. Did and the music did industry. They start, did they st- because apparently somebody from I the mean, CIA started hip-hop because they knew it would brainwash kids into violence and hate and rage, smoking weed no, and no, fighting. No, the and CIA it's just, and run still Hollywood. Doing it. Yeah, of course. And they're still doing it. Yes. It's just another defense, yeah. another mechanism to brainwash exactly. kids to normalize that fucked up life. Yeah. And like I said, no, they- that's the thing. Like the CIA, like they control all of this. Like these, you know, these TV shows that are promoted, like the Kardashians being role models and all of this. This is all freaking CIA. Like what? We've got role models of girls with like these fake bums and big lips and nails like this and like kids think that this is like they've all got to go out and get butt implants now mm-hmm. like what is wrong with the world this is like so sick it's mad like, like i say if i stand up for that end, but it is it's the cia yeah. runs hollywood like they they own they own all the big agencies there they own you know the, the, between the chinese and the cia they own hollywood they own all the studios what if it comes out about that it is as bad as they make out would you apologize um, of course I would. Well, if uh, uh, but if you look at my post, I said if the thing about Cassie is true, I'm horrified. So I actually like if if someone actually reads the mm-hmm. post properly, like I I'm I'm just I'm showing like both sides, and I'm like, wow, if this is true, like this is horrifying and just awful. Yeah, because you, you weren't know? with them twenty four seven. There's men no. out there who are groomers and fucking. I've, I've had uh, five hundred I- interviews. There's going to be some dirty wrongs. Come on, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm under the radar. I go, yeah, he's sound, but I'm only judging him from appearance. I can't be many I'm parties. judging. I'm judging from what I saw, but like, you know, over the years, I went to Super Bowl parties at the house, or I went to New Year parties at the Miami house, or yacht parties in in St. Bart's. But you know, whenever I was there, like at a party, like his kids are there, his mom's there. His old best friends are there. Since Kim Porter died, I haven't really, I haven't seen him since really like around the COVID years. Kim died, Andre Harrell. Her, Andre was really like um, who we would always hang out all together. Um, so when he passed, I, I just really haven't like seen him 